And there are people that travel worldwide to see these things because they are such special events. I've seen two and I understand why. At the Maryland Science Center, senior scientist Jim O'Leary is gearing up for a rare event on August 21st. It's the first coast to coast solar eclipse in 99 years and the first time one has been visible in the United States in 38 years. There's a very specific path that runs from the coast of Oregon across the country and then off the coast of South Carolina. That's the central path. Everybody along that little, little path, about 60 miles wide, will see a total eclipse of the sun. The sun's completely covered, sky becomes dark, stars and planets come out, the wind, the temperature changes. But not everyone in the country will see a total eclipse. In Maryland, O'Leary says we'll see about 80 percent. Or for more than two and a half hours, the moon, invisible to us because its night side is facing us, covers up the face of the sun and about 80 percent of the sun becomes covered. So when should you watch? O'Leary says it starts here at 118. It will be at its max by 243 in the afternoon and all done by 401. And from 12 to 4, there are all kinds of activities at the Science Center to help you see the eclipse. Special sun spotters through a telescope with a special lens, welders masks, and they're giving out eclipse glasses to protect your eyes. So the right idea is to put them on and look up at the sun, and then when you're finished, you, know, you look down and take them off, so you don't want to take the chance of uh, you know, staring at the sun while you don't have the glasses on. If you do buy glasses, O'Leary says look for this ISO certification. Even that can be faked, so the best advice? The best place to look, uh, the American Astronomical Society has a web page that has a dozen or so legitimate companies. What a bummer if it is cloudy that day, but if it is, there'll be another chance and not too far in the distant future, April 8th, 2024. Mark it on your calendar now. Here at the Maryland Science Center, Jen Franciotti, WBAL-TV 11 News.